In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the normal distribution table and also uh, a graphic calculator to find different probabilities. Okay, so let's read this question. A salary paid to employees in a company is normally distributed with a mean of $25,000 and standard deviation of $7,000. So your mean and the notation for mean is this Greek letter mu which is $25,000 okay and your standard deviation I'll write in short SD with again a Greek letter called Sigma which is $7,000 so this is these are the two vital information and again it's normally distributed so the question is find the probability that an employee selected at random earns a salary of greater than 35000 so ignore B, C, and D. We're looking at question number, question A. So this is normal distribution. This is the normal distribution curve. So this is the normal curve of X. Okay, I'm not writing X. So this is your mu, or this is your mean, and this is your X value, which is 35,000. The question is, you want to find when you ask when they're asking you the probability basically it is this area they're asking you what's this area uh, which is uh, to the right of 35,000 so I hope you know the total area and the normal curve is 1 so the area to the left of mean is 0 0.5 and the area to the right of mean is again 0 0.5 or uh, the total probability is one you can't have a probability greater than one so probability of any uh, any event is always one that's why the total area under this curve is one so we want to find this area so the first thing that you need to do to find this area or any area is to find the z value okay now the z value is found by this formula which is x minus mu over sigma so when you when you're doing x minus mu what are you doing you are finding how much away your x is from the mean and when you're dividing by standard deviation you find a number which tells you basically whatever that number is suppose in this case it is 1.43 i'll explain that later this number tells me that this value 35000 is 1.43 standard deviations away from 25,000. I hope you understand because it's a slightly mathematical, but it's very logical. X minus, I'll repeat it again, X minus mu tells me how much or what's the deviation or what's how much how much away 35,000 is. Say X minus mu in this case is 10,000. So I can say that 35,000 is 10,000 away from uh, 25,000. That's very clear. And when you're dividing by 7,000, what you're saying is 1.43 is the number. That is 1.43 times away, or 1.43 standard deviations away from uh, mu. So z is nothing but telling you the standard deviations away from, or uh, standard deviations away, a value is from the mean. I hope I'm not confused you. So if that's confusing, remember this as a formula. So that's the first thing, and that's how they're calculated. But uh, this is basically 10,000, 35,000 minus 25,000 is 10,000, divided by 7,000, which is uh, 10 divided by 7. Okay, let me use a calculator. So I've already done 10,000 divided by 7,000 is... 1.428 they have gone up to three decimal places but we want to go only up to two decimal places because the table uh, you can go up to three decimal places but I'm restricting to two decimal places that's fine so 1.43 is the number so your Z is 1.43 so let me write Z is 1.43 so the table the table and then I'm going to show you gives me this area the table 
can give me only this area so let me sh give you show you the table now this is a this is called the z table or the standard normal curve table where this table so let me write this number which is inside this table gives you the area between it always gives you the area between z is equal to 0 to any value of c any value of c okay so yeah that means if you have suppose let me draw a normal curve this is a normal curve so yeah, this is your z in is this is z is equal to zero in the standard normal in the standard normal curve the value corresponding so i'll go back i'll show you that this is the mean of the distribution and this is the mean of the standard normal curve so let me write that in a standard normal curve let me change color uh, in a standard in standard normal curve these are the two uh, uh, values which are considered where mu or the standard deviation sorry the mean is always zero and standard deviation is one okay so these are the facts again you should know okay so yeah your mean your your the mean the standard normal in the standard normal curve the mean is always zero to any value of um, any value of mean in the normal curve so the corresponding value for 25,000 in the standard normal curve is zero so this or this you can understand logically why is it zero your z value is always telling you how many standard deviation away your mean or your value is from the mean so you ask this question 25,000 is how many standard deviation away from 25,000 so logically it has to be zero it's zero away from uh, whatever standard deviation it is okay so that's why for the standard normal curve the mean is always zero so let me come back so the table gives me this area the table is going to give me this area and to find this area what you do is uh, this area we know this area again this area is 0.5 so this area would always also be 0.5 so if you know the area to the right of mean is 0.5 and if you know this area you can find this area so i'll come to come to that later again so let me go back so we want to find the area between z is equal to zero this is your z value you can write mu which is oops this is your your mu which is of course z this is your z value okay so this is z and this is the second z so we want to find this area so i'm changing this to 1.43 so we want to find this area so how do you re how do you read the table so you go down so this tells me the first two significant figures or first two decimal places so it's one uh what's the number 1.43 am i right yeah okay so i'll go first to 1.4 okay so this is your first two decimal places and in this column you get the second decimal place so 1.43 okay so you go across to 1.43 so this is the answer the area between z is equal to 0 to 1.43 so we want to find this area okay so this is this is how you read the table 1.4 uh, across 2.03 so i hope you understand 1.4 plus 0 0.03 is 1.43 that's how you read it okay, so you're adding this to which will give you this so the area of this area is 0 0.4236 so let me write that so this area is 0 0.4236 am i right uh, you have to go backwards 0.42 three six okay so let me go back this area is zero point four two three six 
So the probability, uh, what was the question? The probability that an employer selected earns more than or greater than 35,000. So let's answer the question. So the question is probability of X to be greater than 35,000. That's the question. It's same as, we want to write in terms of Z, is Z greater than 1.43. So the probability of Z or a probability of z to be greater than 1.43 would be uh, 0.5 minus the probability of z to be between 1.43 and a bit and zero. So this is a bit mathematical for those who don't like to write in a mathematical form. Basically, this is is the area that we have found. So this is this answer. So this is nothing but 0.5 minus 0 0.4236. So let me use a calculator. Okay, so this is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4236, which is 0 0.0764, uh, 0 0.0764, which is 0 0.0764. In other words, there are 7.64% 7, 7 probability that a person has a salary more than 35,000. Now, we can do the same thing without, uh, if you have a graphic calculator, you can do this without going through this whole process. So let me go over that. So to do that, let you go, you had to go to stats, okay, and then you had to go to, uh, you had to go to calculation now you had to go to distribution f5 okay I'll go on the distribution and then you go on the normal that is f1 and this is normal probability distribution I think so now you had to go distribution normal normal yeah cumulative this so they're asking you what's your lower value okay so that you have to tell what's lower and the upper value. So, if you want to directly get the answer, you'll put lower as 35,000, and upper is any huge number, so I'll put many zeros. Okay, that's enough. Your standard deviation is 7,000. This is your standard deviation sigma, and your mu is, how much is your mu? Mu is 25,000. And then you execute, and then execute. So this is your answer. The probability is 0 0.0765. So the answer on the calculator is more exact than what we have got. That's almost right. That is, the, this is your answer, 0 0.0765, because we have not, we have done only, uh, we have gone only up to two decimal places. So this is good enough. So in other words, this is 0 0.076. So you are getting up to three decimal places right. So this is how you do without using the table.